going on traders stock of fella back at it got a few questions today on Twitter on how to dip buy I know I have a few um, videos out here you guys but I guess people wanted to see a new one um, so I guess I'm gonna make a video today on how to dip buy you guys the, the way I kind of like to dip buy the way I teach my students how to dip buy the way I teach my um everybody in our group how to how to buy so basically we're looking we want to dip buy we're looking for key support and key resistance you guys right like you want to really be playing off the bigger chart right you want to find key support key resistance on the bigger chart I traded this a few times right so this is all old you guys so this is what I, I think the last video we were talking about how where the pain levels are and definitely check that video out right but key support let's see if, if I want to do a little like let's say a little trend line right just for example right and I'm gonna make this a different color just so we can see the difference right let's do orange let's do it okay now you see that what that is you guys key support right now what else is there here that might be support might be this right here the 50 is the the blue line is the 50 moving average right so right now let me get this pen out right now we see what we see a uh, came down to test the 50 held right comes back up right and now we want to see a test of the 50 or key support right again okay i'm gonna leave it at there for a second right but we also want to look there is there might be some support under there so next support if this thing falls is like see, we have room to like maybe let me zoom it in This is like just like basic technical analysis, you guys, all right? Keep it simple, all right? But the thing is, if it breaks this support, we're going to have a lot of people um, cover, right? Or cut their loss. So a lot of times, if it breaks this trend line, they're probably going to cut their loss, and we're probably going to have to maybe test next support, which might be somewhere around 50 60 probably around $60, where I see some good support um, back in July. So, this is the thing with these types of dip buys, you guys. You guys got to take the loss if it cracks it. Even if you get faked out, you can always re-enter. But if it holds, we need a couple tests, right? So, let me get back to this to show you guys how, like, how we usually need a couple tests, right? First thing, let's make this. Let's, let me make this a little space here. So really what we want to dip by this is like you see this is like a one time they caught the bounce but if I look down here like there's not that much volume right so I need better confirmation right and I know below this shorts are gonna attack so right here I want it dip by unless it gives us good confirmation you guys like if it holds like a one this is basically a seller failure sellers try to short this thing break support they couldn't right so we got our first first seller failure right first seller failure right whatever you guys so you got um now we're gonna they're gonna try to sell it and break the support again right so we might get our second seller failure right if they fail right here you guys if they can't break break this support right here we might get in like a tier position i might get in not like just in this stock i'm just saying this like example overall this did buy it, right if it doesn't break the support and it go, continues like this this is a spot where i like show one of my a few of my students like where, where i get in tier one right do your own due diligence right but then where do i like to add you guys don't look at the numbers right just look at the pattern i like to add like I, where i know the pain is right so i know shorts probably shorted right here let me erase this real fast so we could draw it over right So I know shorts probably shorted right here, 
right shorted right here shorted right here so I know their pain is going to be above here, right? So they try to take this thing once down, and now they're going to try to take this thing again down, right? So short's pain is going to be right here, right? If they can't crack the support, right? If, if, remember the if, you guys, if this thing holds, right? This could be a possibly like tier one, like my first type of position, right? As soon as it cracks over their little pain level and holds, <coughs> excuse me, this is where I'll get into this, right? Tier two would be like my second position would have to go up. Now we gotta have a patience with something like this, right? It would come back down, give me a higher high or a higher low, and this would be my second position, right? This would be my tier position. And right here we would have more pain levels, right? So I would be a little more patient with that, you guys. Plays like this, some traders take their profits, but you got to have a target, you guys. Forget about the numbers, right? Just stick, stick to the pattern. Let's say your target is this, right? You take your target here, right? Like some traders will take their target. What I do is I'll take some of my targets here, right? But I'm looking for previous resistance, something like this, to become new support. So if it comes back down like this and test previous resistance becomes new support, I will probably be adding on that, you guys, which is also like a little trap. So this is like basically these little spots. And when you look at it in the bigger picture, like I always say, it might sound kidding garden. But it looks like a little like bike, right? So you want to be getting in like on the back wheel and on the front wheel of the bike. And then when it crosses these pain levels, right? Maybe a little sloppy, but I hope you guys kind of see it. Let me um let me change the color. Maybe we could let me erase that. Let's see. Okay, so basically right now it's testing it, right? So we they try let's they tested it once. They came back, tested it again. We're looking for it to go up and cross this level. And this is where we're beginning our, in our like first like little area, right? Comes back. Usually, usually the moving average will follow it like this, right? So the moving average wraps itself or VWAP, whatever you guys use, right? Let's say this comes in like this. Has to cross the pain level, right? Come back, test. That previous resistance becoming new support, and this would be my like second position, tier two, right? And then once that happens, stocks don't go up, you guys, all the way up, all the time, straight up, right? They go up and down, right? This is one of my strategies, right? So I, it would be going up, and if it gives me a higher high or a higher low on the second candle, this is like my final position where I would be getting in. And usually my targets around like because I sell into strength usually like into the next pain level next support and the like I said whatever moving average you use it's better if you have like a play that moving average is like kind of wrapping itself around it at the same time you know what I mean but we gotta watch for volume you guys this is not just like you gotta find low uh, support right here you gotta watch for volume you really want to see volume like go like this right like get bigger but you want to see in the green when stuff like that happens right you want to see like volume do this like greenish right you don't want to see like red 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 volume you want to see green and you want to see whatever moving average you're using like go like basically acting as support also on the way up helping you you know what i mean and these are like our spots to buy right two three you know, this is like for more of the advanced traders. You guys do your own due diligence. I'm not a um, licensed professional yet, but do your own due diligence. Um, I am taking my SIE exam, you guys, August 21st. Wish me luck. Anybody has any questions, any a any questions for me, please reach out to me. Do not be scared, you guys. Um, I'm still doing one free session, you guys. I'm giving most of my students two free sessions, so probably still do that for the rest of the summer. Just email my trade coach 23 at gmail.com. Remember the model plan the trade, trade the plan. See you guys next time. Peace out.